What is up everyone? This is Mo Gaming here and today I'm going to show you how to fix the PlayStation 4 error, the unrecognizable disk error I should say. So in this one it's a bit of an odd uh, error where let's say you put in a game in your PlayStation 4, it was working or it just never worked and you're trying to basic play it and it's just coming up as that weird corrupted error screen you're like what do I do? So there's a couple of stuff that you can do. The first and foremost easiest one is if the game worked or didn't work you'll see like a corruption data here you want to actually like right click into it if applicable and then press delete. That'll most likely delete all the corrupted data related to the game and if you can't do it from there you can obviously always go from your settings and same thing you can find where is storage where the game storages are within the application sections whenever this loads and kind of just delete it from there for the applicable game. Now let's say you did this and it still didn't work what you want to do is you want to obviously take the CD clean it up make sure you clean it up with a good solution not water not Windex or something of the sort actual disk cleaning solution try again and see if that works. Now, obviously, if that doesn't work, those are like the easy clean methods that you can kind of try. Once those don't obviously work, you want to do is you want to completely turn off your PlayStation 4 and you want to make sure it's not flashing white or blue or anything color on the right side. You want to make sure it's completely turned off and we are going to enter into safe mode. This is a place where, you know, you basically troubleshoot a lot of PlayStation errors and you kind of fix them from that specific screen. And I'm going to kind of show you how how and what to do basically there. So once your PlayStation 4 is completely turned off and I'm actually looking from the side to make sure it is, um, it is still flashing. So when it is, once it is completely turned off, which it looks like is now, you're gonna hold on to the power button for about five to eight seconds uh, until you hear two beeps. Uh, my PlayStation 4 is old <laughs> and about to die probably. Uh, I don't hear any beeps, so uh, damn it, I think I let go too fast. Um, so we might have to redo that process because I. Oh, no, no, I did it on time. Perfect. Uh, my finger slipped. I thought I go too fast. Anyways, you're going to get to the screen that says safe mode and it's going to say connect the let, let it focus, connect the DualShock 4 using the USB cable. So as you can see, my controller is connected to USB cable It's connected in there and you're going to press the PlayStation button and you're going to get here. If you don't have it connected, it's not going to do all this good stuff that's happening over here. So once you are in here, you're going to do two steps. First, you're going to do rebuild database. This is a very simple, clean step. It's not going to break anything. It's just going to rebuild your PlayStation 4's database and it will fix any possible corrupted issues that you are having. This might take a few minutes to a few hours. It usually takes me less than 10 minutes. Once that is done, you are going to then try update system software and do update using internet. This is like a reformat of your PlayStation 4 without it deleting anything on your PlayStation 4. So this actually ends up fixing a lot of issues. And I, I would actually very, very much recommend you doing this step before like deleting everything off your PlayStation 4. So definitely try this one out and then you should be good to go. This should help fix your issue and then you should be able to play the games that you want. Um, so yeah, um, that, that basically yeah, that's th these will let you read the disc and you should be good to go. If you guys still have any comments, questions, concerns, just let me know in the comment section below. More than happy to help you guys out. If you guys overall like this video, please smash that like button, helps a lot. And if you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell and become a member today. Other than that, more gaming out. Peace.